Tis now the very witching time of night when churchyard John and hell itself brings out contagion to the world. But soft, what noise? Who calls on Hamlet? Ooh, I, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit. And all for nothing. <coughs> oh, when what so poor a man as Hamlet is? The spad begins and worse remains behind. One more word. Words. Words! Speak, I am bound to hear. Oh, and what say you? What heart of man once thinketh? But you'll be secrets. Angels and ministers of grace, oh. defend us. <sighs> Bring with thee airs from heaven or blasts from hell. Be thy intents wicked or charitable. <coughs> Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I speak to thee. <laughs> a rhapsody of words. Oh, I'll call thee Hamlet. Nothing is either good nor bad, but thinking makes it so. Oh, do not believe it. <coughs> that I could keep thine counsel and not mine own? For God's love let me hear. And therefore, a stranger gives it welcome. Oh, God. <laughs> I could be bounded in a nutshell, yet count myself a king of infinite space, were it not that I have bad dreams. Together with all forms, moods, shapes of grief that can denote me truly, these indeed seem, for they are actions that a man might play. But I have that within which passes show. These but the trappings and suits of woe! <laughs> I am but mad, north northwest. <laughs> Eyes without feeling, feeling without sight. Ears without hands or eyes. Smelling sands all. Save me and hover over me with your wings. I must be cruel. Only to be kind. I cannot reason. A knavish speech sleeps in a foolish ear. <laughs> oh, what a noble piece of work is man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculties. In form and in moving. How express and admirable. <laughs> in action. How like an angel. In an apprehension. How like a god. Sir, 
In my heart there was a kind of fighting that would not let me sleep. Ah, our indiscretion sometimes serves us well when our deep thoughts do call. And should learn us. There is a divinity that shapes our ends. Give me your pardon, sir. I have done you wrong. <laughs> Judgment! Who does it then? His madness. Oh. Madness. His poor Hamlet's enemy. <laughs> I beseech you. <laughs> Let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house.